Hello everyone and welcome to For Evelyn, given to me by Kisu Arts. Now, as always, I go through these games blind, but as far as I've been informed, this is like a um, RPG maker game. So, I haven't actually reviewed many RPG games, unfortunately, but let's give it a go anyway. Come inside, little dove. It's getting late. Oh, voice acting. I like it when a game has voice Tell acting. Me what happened that night? Evelyn. Very nice voice you acting. She would tell me when I got older. It's my 18th summer already. I think it's high time I knew. I knew, dear. The problem with voice acting it's is sometimes it's actually about. very hard to portray a certain emotion. And these guys are doing really Tell well. I'm impressed. What to my father. Come inside. Also, I'm pretty Tell sure I've heard at least I, I've heard these voices before, I swear. I'll have to look this up afterwards. See where these voices come from. Or if it's just my imagination, because I swear these are familiar. It was just like any other night at the circus. We were preparing for a performance with Aurum. I love that Everything name. was fine. Final Fantasy ten fan men here. attacked the camp. Although I prefer Final Fantasy VIII more than anything. They came running out of the woods without warning. We were defenseless. For some reason, I thought you guys were elves. Oh, that's not good. Hunter, take Evelyn and run. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't a happy start at all. Your father tried to fight them back, giving us enough time to escape. I remember the man who Oron was fighting. His black, full plate armor and great sword were more than a match for him. I've got to wonder, though. I see there's like a blacksmith there. Was that? Ouch. Was that his blacksmith stool? Yes, or is there someone else help. that's meant to be fighting? I... He can't be the only one fighting. Of that day. It's okay, Mom. Calm down. That's enough. The art style's very pretty, too. Kudos to the artist. To bed. It's a big day tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? Sleep well, little dove. You too, Mom. I wonder how old the girl is. Is she an elf? Because her mum has human ears. I'm pretty sure Evelyn's an elf. Darling, are you okay? You look distressed. Thank you for taking us in, Edwin. You've been saying that every night for the last ten years, darling. And as always. Is Edwin the gra Oh, oh, Edwin's the new love interest after Oren. Okay. Echoes from the past. Oh, no voice actor now. Oh, I'm playing as Johanna. Move around with WASD. Simple, basic controls. Hold shift to run. Caps lock to toggle run. Point and click to interact with objects. Mouse click or space bar to advance conversations. Travel is only available in exterior areas. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. So it's literally the typical case of, ooh. Edwin writes his stories here. I don't know how much of it is true. He talks a lot about his adventures when he was younger. Isn't that the armor we saw at the beginning of the game? Oh, this is very pretty. But the thing I like most about this game, is that a chest I can open? It is not, that's disappointing. The thing I like about this is that when you have pixelated games like this most of the time you can't get full screen because it messes up the game for some unknown reason but this guys I'm playing in full screen and that makes me very happy so I can see things a lot clearer which is great because as many of you are aware I also have a bad eye at the moment so seeing tiny things is extremely hard for me at times ooh we have some pretty good wine here. Everfall red wine, northern blood wine, local favourites. Can I steal some? Is that... Oh, that's not an option apparently. I can only look and... Uh, I love the outfits here. Can I go up the stairs, please? Oh. Good morning, dear. Ready for the big day? Almost. 
I still have to find a gift for Evelyn. She's growing up so fast. Oh, good luck with that. Those younglings can be so demanding. Younglings. Well, I better head to the market and try to find something fitting. I pray she chooses one of the suitors for herself. Oh, I just want to see her happy. I know. Marriage does not always equal happiness. Choice. Sad but true. She can deny them all if she so wishes. Remind me again how all this works. I know the noble traditions may be a bit confusing, but each year after her 18th summer, on her birthday, admirers from noble families can ask for her hand. Right. What if she doesn't choose anyone? Do we really have to do this every year? Until she chooses someone, yes. That's huh. what you get for marrying into a noble family. Sorry. Edwin, you don't really look noble. Oh, no offense. Edwin, you silly goose. Well, I better get going. I don't want to get stuck in the midday crowd. Get her something nice. I will. See you later, honey. I really thought we'd be playing as the daughter. Oh, hello. Wait, you've got one of those... Oh, you've got one of those things from... Are you safe to talk to? Oh, apparently so. Hey there, Percival. How was your night shift? Ah, same old, same old. I do have a little bit of a problem, though. Oh, how's that? I haven't been able to pay my rent and my landlord is breathing down my neck. Could you do something about it? I've dealt with him before and I shall do it again. Not to worry, Percival. I've got your back. Thank you, Hannah. It means a lot. He's probably hanging around the marketplace. Well, I'm going to the marketplace anyway. So I say, the the gilded gold... The colded... The, I'm going to guess it says horse because of the symbol, but I can't read the middle word actually. Colded? Gilded? Golded? I... I Someone translate that for me, please. Okay, I don't think there's anything. Oh, book. Can I read the book? It's a book about Morningstar, our home city. New law required. Have a nice day, dear. Remember to be back by nightfall. What? Have I got a curfew now? I should head to the marketplace to find something for Evelyn. She's old enough now, so I was thinking of something she could protect herself with. And probably whack suitors with. We post our job openings here on this board. Oh, is that? Oh, oh no. I thought that was Evelyn. Morningstar is such a beautiful city. Better to avoid the old town though. Right. We're avoiding old town. Why? Question mark. Oh! Oh, that's a nice map. That is indeed a nice map. But having said that, if you were noble, wouldn't you be closer to the castle? Like in just be in like the slightly outer room? Okay, never mind. Adventurers. Trader. Let's see if we can get something here. Vegetables straight from the evergreen range. Really cheap. Fresh fish, caught today, ignore the smell. Hey there, say, would you be interested in a little task? What do you have in mind? I have a room at the Susima Inn, in the old town, but the thing is the place is haunted. I don't dare go in there. Can you help me? Haunted? Are you being serious right now? I'll give you today's profit from the fish shells. I just really need to get back into my room at the inn. Well, I'm actually intrigued about seeing what this is about. I'll see what I can do. You're asking a total stranger to do Ghostbusters for you. Okay. I'm being attacked by a freaking mosquito back here. This is ridiculous. It's a book about the races of Aura. Interesting. I'm gonna guess Aura's the world, maybe? We sell clean water, juices, and other beverages. I'm not entirely sure where I'm meant to be going. Wine, spirits, and ale. We have it all. I bet you anything, it's like clear as day. Best spices straight from the capital. It's very obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Are you here to buy anything? I'll go to you in a minute, Zeg. Zig and Zeg. Greetings, I am Zig, one of the brothers of the Zig and Zag. Why do I call him Zeg? Trading company. Can I interest you in a bow per chance? Maybe a sword? Ah, nothing for me, thank you. I'm looking for a gift for my daughter. A gift you today. Talk to Zag, my brother. He deals with our exotic wares. Maybe you'll find something of interest. Salutations, I am Zag, one of the brothers of Zag and Zig Trading Company. Ah, I see, depending on who's talking, they switch it round. 
clever. Look for something special? You've come to the right place. I need to find a gift for my daughter. Do you have anything fitting? Zag has something indeed. Take a look at this dagger. Ooh. This blade was forged by the elves some hundreds of years ago. It's beautiful work, isn't it? Wow, it sure is. How much do you ask for it? Hmm, let's say 50 gold crowns. <laughs> wow. That's nice. The price still stands. Hello again. Are you so interested in stack of 50 crowns? Oh, well, please do return when you have the money. Oh, wait. What? How much do I have? Is there a way to open it? Uh, I've got half, so I need another 25. I guess that explains all the jobs and stuff. Hello. <laughs> I wasn't saying hello to the cards, I swear. Hello, can you help me? I lost my friend and can't find her anymore. She's a girl with bright green shoes. You can't miss her. A girl with bright green shoes. Alright, let's see. Lost and found. Let's get rid of the ghost. I do I actually have a weapon? Right, let's deal with the the situation at Old Town, but I do I have a weapon? I can't just go punching ghosts with fists, that's not gonna work. If Phasma Oh, bright green shoes, hello. Hey, a friend of yours asked me to find you. I'm not going any I'm not going anywhere before I find my shoe. What? I lost one of my green shoes. Help me find it, please. It should be nearby. Uh, okay. If it's nearby, why didn't you find it? Well, it's clearly not down here. Also, I don't know if you guys can see my cursor, but my cursor is going all over the place trying to find one bright green shoe. Oh, I... You know, that looks... That, that looked like somewhere I could go down. No? Again, that building, like, it looks like somewhere I'd be able to go. I'm a bit... There's the shoe. Found it. Let's get this back to the lady. I think her name was Peyton. You found my shoe? Oh, thank you so much. You've done me a great service, Indeer. Indeer. Who says that? Yep, yeah. you've done me a great service, Indeer. You've done me a great service indeed. Here, have some money. Buy yourself something nice. Your friend Jane was looking for you in the marketplace. Actually, I got lost on purpose. I wouldn't have to deal with her for a while. I guess it's time to go back. Ooh! Choose a... Choose a skill to upgrade. I'm gonna do social. Something tells me I should stick with social. Wow, Peyton, those actually really are bright green. I didn't pay attention earlier. But I, I suppose I should have done. Girls. I'm telling you, we took a wrong turn somewhere. The, the Law Mage Academy should be just around the corner. I'm sure of it. Are you sure you didn't hold the map upside down? <laughs> Alright, so this is the inn that's supposedly haunted. Huh? There's no one here. There's a book that's glowing. It's a book about Voidcraft. This could be useful information. I should probably be reading the lore, but... So, that person I spoke to earlier had a room here. But if it was haunted, why did I make the reservation to begin with? What the hell is that? Uh. <laughs> oh, that made me jump. I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, what the f. Void stone. Hmm, a void stone. Oh, the ghost disappeared as soon as I picked up the stone. The stone must have depleted its power. I should return to Delta now. But the body remains. Curious. I don't like this. It's locked. Are they all these doors locked? Yes, yes. That's the, that's a common thing in games. Like all the game, all the doors except the one that you have to go through, they're always locked. Why can't we have um Why 
Why don't they ever make it so you can actually explore more? Alright, so we were talking to the guy over here, wasn't we? Alright, this one. Delta. I've dealt with the ghosts. They were created by a void stone. They were hallucinations. A void stone? That's mine, by the way. Thanks for bringing that to me. There was also a dead body in the room. Must have been a hallucination. Thanks. Here's your money. Uh, okay. We'll go with finesse, I believe. Okay, how much do we have now? Uh, is it this one? 45. I am missing one more thing. Who am I... Who am I missing? Oh, that's right. I need to find the land. I nearly said lanyard there, that's why I paused. Where is the landlord? Talk to Mr. Virian. I have one critique about this game. It would be nice. Everyone. One critique I said. It would be nice is um, with the quest, it tells you whereabouts you need to go. So like if you need to go to the marketplace, it gives you a little reminder that you need to go to the marketplace. It would be great to see along some of this year. Actually, not with the weather we're having back here. I'd rather not. Uh, hang on, if I speak to him again, will he tell me where to go? Please tell me where to go. No, it just says, have you talked to Mr. Varian? Okay, let's see. Oh, so I don't need to go to the edge. I can just click the map and fast travel. Okay. Oh, I love your hair. Mealy. La, 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 la. Okay, then. There's a god. Hey, can you help me? The warehouse is infested with rats. Could you perhaps do something about it? Why don't you deal with it yourself? I can't leave my post. That sounds like a you problem. Please, I can give you pay for the week. Just bring me those rats alive. I need them fresh. I'm not even going to ask. You never know. Maybe they, he has a cat. Um, how am I going to do this? How? Ooh, a letter. Huh, there's a map and a letter written in some weird symbols. Intriguing. Oh, are you kidding? I have to catch the rats? Oh. How many are there? So I got three. Was it? Oh, oh. Oh, days. How many are there? So I've got three. You little slugger bug, where did you go? Oh, oh. Oh, you little. <sighs> I wish there was some light in here. I think that's all of them. So there's four. Okay. I swear there was five. Here's your rats alive and well. Perfect. Here, this is for you. I'm glad it's taken care of. Thank you. Let's do resolve for next. Because I need resolve to deal with this. Six. Oh, I've got more than enough to get the, the present for Evelyn now. Hello again. Are you so interested in this dagger for 50 gold crowns? Okay, sounds good to me. Excellent. Here is your dagger. Hey, now I have a present. We can go back home. You know, I still didn't find that innkeeper, but never mind. We'll deal with it later. Oh, 
Welcome back, dear. Did you find time for Evelyn? I did. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. So, are you ready for the party? I'm ready. Let's prepare everything for the guests. That looks nice, actually. The suitors may now present their gifts. Oh, wow. My lady Evelyn, I am Jacob. Please accept these roses. I picked them myself just for you. Thank you, my lord, but I don't care for flowers. <laughs> oh, was there a little tear on his face just then? Oh, oh, is it still there? Hello, my lady. I, Anders. Hello, my lady. I, Anders, hunted a boar for you. I prepared these steaks in your honour. Accept my humble gift, please. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Poor boar. Oh, he just looks sullen. My dearest lady, Demetrius knows what the lady likes. These jewels are collected from the tombs of the old kings in the golden desert. Aren't they wonderful? So you're a grave robber? No thanks. My lady, I'm Miranda. Pleased to meet you. Excuse me, but I don't really have anything other to offer but my hand. I can only promise to do my best in holding you dear if you decide to accept my proposal. That's kind of sweet, actually. That's surprising. I'll think about it. Oh, that's that's good. My lady Evelyn, my name is Aragon. Aragon Maxwell. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. This is for you. Very nice voice. What is that? Uh, a void stone? Why would you give me something like this? I'm beginning to think that void stones are dangerous. Uh, well. I don't believe in the usual offerings admirers are accustomed to. I'd rather offer something practical. I could teach you how to use that thing. You would? Really? Oh, wow, that would be amazing. I've always wanted to be able to cast magic. Oh, the void stones are just so rare and hard to acquire. Where I, did you get this, anyway? I just realized from the back she looks like a Sailor Moon character. Villain, mind you. It's a secret. Maybe I'll tell you someday. Let's go outside and I'll teach you a few things. I know that voice. I, I recognize his voice as well. Oh! I, I Looks like it's well, off to a good start. Looks like she made her choice. How do you feel, Hannah? He seemed like a nice guy, but... A void stone? Exactly what I said a moment ago. Dangerous. I wouldn't worry about it, dear. I'm sure she can handle it. She's not a child anymore. No matter how old she is, she'll always be my baby. I just feel like maybe they should have asked for my permission first. Johanna. You know young people, they get enthusiastic about those kinds of things. You don't need to be afraid. She's a smart girl. And knowing her, she'll punch him in the face if he treats her wrong. Sounds just about right, to be honest. That's my girl, all right. Okay, Edwin, I'll try not to worry. What's next? As it is tradition, we have to offer free food and lodging for the suitors. It's kind of a payback for the trouble of finding offerings and coming all the way here from wherever. That's actually a nice tradition, actually. Very well. I like that. I'll go prepare the rooms. Not the buying off, mind you, but the idea that they've come all this way and oh, he's still in tears. And Miranda's hiding her face now. But yeah, I kind of like this. So I'm going to end this here because I don't want to spoil it for the rest of you. It looks like there's going to be problems with the void stone that uh, Evelyn's just been given. And I have no doubt in my mind that the villains introduced at the beginning of the game are going to come back. So... Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like the content I'm putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And again, thank you so, so much, Kisu Arts, for giving me this game, which has a lot of promise, I have to admit. I love the music, the graphic, the art style, the voice acting you can hear, I really enjoy. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.